Um, so there's there's a couple of things that we need to resolve that happened at the end of last session. Uh, if you scroll up in chat a little bit, there's a list of uh, magic items that you got from the last fight. Rodney has them all t uh, typed out. If any of you want those or want to do with any, I b want any of those or want to do anything with those, uh, now's your chance. Um, and I, I believe, yeah, Rodney has already taken the belt. Who am I, Zoe? Um... It would probably help if I had a character sheet open. Maybe. I've decided. Sometimes I forget to open my character sheet until, like, something happens, like combo. Sometimes I keep closing my character sheet. Um. Let's see, I have Cloak of Resistance, I have Ring of Protection. I think the Bracers of Armor might be the only thing I could really use. They do not stack with armor bonuses. Never mind. Is there an ice cream truck outside? Hang on. <laughs> no. Uh oh. It's oh, it's it's wait, that's the music? music. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that sounded like an ice cream truck, man. Oh, wait, you got excited? Were you gonna yeah. get some ice cream? <laughs> no. Oh. I got the very real good. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> I have the music turned down really loud, so it's just like this really quiet, like jingling tune. Uh, it kind of was like an ice cream truck tune. Uh. All right, I'm gonna tap out for a few minutes because I gotta check voicemails, but I'll be right back shortly. Uh, I guess I'll put this in chat. I decided that since this is a low magic campaign, that uh, if you want to quote unquote disenchant things to be able to re enchant stuff, you could do that and you would take the sell value of whatever you have and it would take, you know, the same. The same rules for disenchanting would apply to enchanting stuff, so it would take the cell value to disenchant it over days, if that makes any sense. Kind of sure. I mean, mostly speaking to the magic casters here, is Pluto? Pluto's here. I haven't heard him say anything. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, that katana, that sounds kind of fun. I can give people tuberculosis. You can. You can. <laughs> Diseased katana. I mean, I am kind of like a weapon master type class. As in, I have like a shit ton of different weapons on me, so it wouldn't hurt to have a tuberculosis but katana. But are you okay using a katana that diseases your opponent? Ah, uh, if they're nasty enemies, yeah, yeah, that's fine with me. All right. I don't generally fight people I don't intend to, you know, hurt. Or if I am, then you know I'll do non-lethally kind of attacks, which I wouldn't use the katana then. <laughs> so I guess I'll I'll take that if no one wants it, or if we want to sell it, we can sell it somewhere. I don't know. Wait, okay, can you even sell things? I, I'm just talking about, uh, I'm going to restate these rules to secret. So, because this is a low magic campaign, I'm adding in some magic crafting rules. You can disenchant magic items that you would, that you would have sold for half of their gold value. And use those as components into building other magic items. So does that mean I have that gold value of crafting materials? 
you have to take the time, you have to take the half gold, the, the, the cell value uh, in days to disenchant, just like you would to enchant. Or it would take you doubly long to enchant as to disenchant, if that makes any sense. You still have to take the time to do it, but uh, you could do it as opposed to having stuff that you don't have people to sell to. Yeah, we don't have that kind of time. Let's just go back to Rome, where those the crazy magic market was. Um, this, uh, because it's been so long, this, this thing we, this blessing we have to, like, kind of appear japanese -y and all that, is that just, like, a forever thing, or is that gonna, like, wear it's off a after a month or a year? Spell. So we cast it. It's a 24-hour spell. That we renew it every morning, while but... You were, yeah. While you're in, under the control, under regions that are under the purview of the deity who's blessing you. Would that include these regions that he's offering to us? Yes. So we could literally just like leave, go do whatever, and then come back, and then still have our Japanesey blessing of be a Japanese person. Yeah, because the snake gave it to us. Yeah, I, I just want to make sure, like, if we like go off to a different country and come back, that you know, it's like, hey, wait, you can't go there. You don't own that. You don't look like this person I knew. That kind of thing. So we're good though. So yeah, that that sounds good. I like I like land. Yeah, I think it's just a location. I've never thing. owned a lot of That's land before. Yeah. And uh who was it? Uh Charlotte uh didn't want to join them because she didn't want to take orders from this guy. That and I still don't, but you guys talked me into it. Okay. 
So if nobody has any opposition, we're going to do that. Yeah, Maester, Hester made the very good point is, yeah, we can say we're gonna do it, but that doesn't mean we're gonna. <laughs> At the end of the day, our loyalties lie to what's in the best interest of the world. Or okay. just us. Whoa. So this military no, the world. Campaign... <laughs> we're saving the world. Maybe to Hester Instead just... <laughs> of throwing you into a bunch of battles, uh, we're going to have a uh, skill challenge. So, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of the battle stuff, but did we just decide to The skill not challenge do any is that? going to decide how tough your final battle uh, or decisive battle of the campaign will be. Which when you say campaign, you mean the Japanese war campaign, not this game campaign. Yes, the Japanese war campaign. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, the... I'm going... I'm going <laughs> to tell you uh, how hard this is. Well, I just want to get it out of the way. successes before three failures. Um, I got my and... one out of the way. Don't worry, we're good. Okay. okay. <laughs> and each player needs to make a roll before we go back to the top uh, for players to uh, make new rolls. And each skill has to be different. Um, and these would be skills that would be relevant to... Uh, the military campaign. Uh, some obvious ones are knowledge geography, knowledge local, profession soldier. Um, other ones you can say, hey, would this work? And I might say yes, but some that definitely wouldn't work would be like spellcraft because you're going to be facing mostly uh, mundane opponents. So basically, if you want to use a weird skill choice, you need to be able to justify why you're <laughs> saying yeah. that. Yeah, and you you role play how the skill works, then make a roll. So we'll just uh. So we don't get to actually like lead troops at all. Uh, maybe you are. You have like a skill that. Well, I, I mean, like role that. playing could... it though. I... The, the, I, I, I just remember before I left, we were talking about whether or not we wanted to actually play into the war stuff, and I, my vote was, yeah, I want to do I mean, some of the, like, high-level strategy kind of stuff. Like but I think other people might have overruled me. A dungeon or something? I, yeah, that, that's, that's yeah, kind of what I was oh. thinking. Oh. But that's fine. Just I, I just want to check, so we're just doing... Well, I wasn't... Okay, whatever. I like this option better myself as well. This is fine. That's just me. Okay, yeah, so you we're would, just gonna that's... So we're gonna start from the top and go uh, right to left here. So, oh, and if you want to spend time crafting as a spellcraft, you can, but that automatically counts as a fail towards one of your failures. Wait, what? Instead of helping Wait, I can't with use the a campaign. Katana. Oh. No, I, I, Charlotte wants to get this over with. I'm not going to be crafting anything. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that that's an option. Okay. That I did not state, but I have it written down. Okay, so, uh, Matt. Has to... Yes? We're starting with you. Okay. Pick a skill. I want to use my craft guns to make sure everyone knows how to properly care for and maintenance their weapons for use on the battle. Okay. Go ahead and roll it. Oof. 
in that one. <laughs> hmm. Did we hear anything that about like not a success? What uh, what a success means, or are you just gonna tell us yay or nay? You'll tell us. Like, is there a DC? Oh, like, there is a DC. Tell you what the DC is, though. I'm not gonna tell you is what the DC is. Is it the same is, for I'm all gonna... the skills? Maybe, maybe not. Or is it gonna depend? You know what we should do? We should if have... there is a skill that is remarkably useful, I will give you a competence bonus. I see. So just roll the skill and you'll so, figure it out, to be fair. It probably also... So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because since you're, since you're explaining how your skill works in this situation, if you have a really fucking good explanation for why your skill is relevant, he's going to give you a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or like if you do a, or if you do like a really good job of like role playing it, like it's it's so yeah, there there is an incentive there. Oh my god, making us role play in a role playing game. Now, That's if crazy. I know. Uses making you skill... role play and role play. If, oh if another god. player uses a skill, does that mean we can't or we just can't use the same skill ourselves? You can't use the same skill yourself. Okay, gotcha. I have a plan. So I have to have four skills that are useful? Oh, geez. I'm gonna ride this boat. No, you don't have to by yourself. Okay, Rodney. Wait, is it the whole party, or is it each of us? Each of us. We're all... It's the like, whole do we need party. Four successes going... as a party. <laughs> Dang, Zerdurium. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put this on initiative. Is there, there don't this like is things? much better. Okay. I I like just understanding the mechanics before I step into things. Well, <laughs> the game master is not gonna tell you those things though. Some of the questions you're asking is like, that's just a don't know kind of thing. <laughs> then the answer can be that's up to me as a GM to figure out. Oh okay. Well, now you know what's. That's a fine answer. I, I just am getting as much information as I can because that's how I do. Do I need to roll yeah. initiative or? Am I rolling my own initiative no. or are you setting people? Oh. He's up? just I'm putting it up. People. He's just putting it up so that he remembers who's already attempted a roll. Sweet. So I guess I'm still confused because if we only need four successes and we have like five people in the party, that's going to be pretty quick, right? Uh, perhaps, but you just got a failure. Well, we get three failures, we lose anyways, so... It's either going to be four... The most turns it could be is, what, uh, six? It's probably just going to go around, but you're either going to fail or pass in the first, uh, round. Uh, so, Rodney, uh... It's your turn. Alright, I'm slightly confused what I need to roll. To start skill? Anything you think will be relevant for and leading wise. armies slash battling war battles. Yeah. With reason why. Give explanation, then roll said skill. So, yeah, like, Give explanation uh, what you're doing with that skill that's helping. I have good skills like that. Um, you need a skill that's I'm Jarvin, so you can be like, I'm Jarvin and I'm helping. So I'm going to show um, party how to um, D10. There. Okay. Show party how to evade. Um, people in the middle of combat. Okay, that is also a very low roll, so that is also going to be a failure. Dang. Zoe. Uh, you know, I rolled in that one already. I have another one up my sleeve. Wait, <laughs> well, she already did something, did she not? No. No, no that, that, that was just yet. that was me just getting my nat one out of the way. Oh, I'm okay. joking, I'm gonna get another one here. Mm. Um, 
so me being the trained uh, lieutenant from the French army that I am, I am going to give these soldiers the leadership they need and boost their morale and you know help them in all things soldier life, both in okay. battle and outside of the battle. Okay. That is a success. Nineteen, we did it. Man, if I if I didn't get that one out of the way, like we would have been in trouble. Uh, that's totally how it works. That's definitely that's, a very that's how it works. <laughs> that's definitely a relevant Charlie. skill to this uh, check. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I'm like, this is perfect for me. All right, I'm going. You to finally use... get to do something. I'm going to use my knowledge history to tell them about battle plans that didn't work in the past and theories as to why they didn't work and to advise them not to do those things. Oh, maybe you should include ones that also worked in the past just to make it so it's not like... <laughs> no, she wrote it too. <laughs> this is how you fail. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. My Did we just roll a one, two, three? The failures. And they... Oh my god! Mine doesn't count, but I just felt like... We rolled literally a 1, 2, and 3. You actually have and I rolled as a 19. modifier as I do on, on that, actually, though. Surprisingly, but... That's my, be that's my best Holy knowledge shit. deal. I have, I have a different one that I actually have a better bonus on than I'm gonna do, though, so... I put 6 ranks okay. in it... so far, though. Yeah. And so, like so, uh... So, yeah. Charlotte tells them only about the failures, and they avoid all of those failures. <laughs> they get discouraged. That, and they they have other failures that oh, well, she didn't foresee. You know, I'm not perfect. She didn't teach them how to succeed. <laughs> uh, even though that is three failures, uh, Isai, you have a chance to make this better. Um, let's see. Knowledge history is probably going to be my option, but we already did that, so well, my maybe next. Tell them else. <laughs> I could also. Now you tell them about the successes. I have knowledge geography, which is pretty decent, but I think actually what I'm going to do instead is, uh, since nobody else has rolled this and I've added a pretty insane modifier for it, uh, I'm going to um, use my perception, actually, to. Uh, basically um, scout out the battlefield and identify key points for tactical like uh tactical advantages things like uh, avoiding places where for potential ambushes either for or against us and uh, that sort of thing okay you succeed uh you've brought it down to two failures um but Wait, that, you did how that have works? more failures than successes. So overall, you have mostly had a struggling campaign. It has taken you three weeks to push uh, the Chinese... Where? Where did my map go? There it is. I should have brought you here earlier. So the red is where the Chinese have control of. And I need to... So this is anything this. except for a Guild Wars Lux whoever versus the other guys map. <laughs> Luxon versus Kurzik. Yes, that's that's what I want. With, with the line on the map, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. So you've p pushed them out of the mainland. Oops, I need to go to this layer. You've pushed them out of the mainland. And you guys, along with your armies, are now here. They still control the coastal waters. And... this island over here where you know Rupert to be staying. Mm -hmm. 
Lord Mori says that this coastal region is fairly cliff mountainous and cliff sided. There aren't very many beaches to make a landing on. And the people they've sent to scout the beaches haven't come back. Uh, he thinks there might be something strange going on, and it's your job uh, to find out what's going on at a particular landing site right across this street. Okay. They don't have naval superiority, so they want to get a landing area as close as possible. So our job's to go over there, figure out what's going on, and try and make a landing area for the the, the Jap people. Or to go over there and disappear yeah. too. <laughs> to disappear and never be seen again, but we actually go and kill Rupert. <laughs> or whatever. Well, we yeah, have I to like get that. to him first. I don't know. The more this is happening, right there. Charlotte's see more realizing, like, this is, this is definitely a more effective way to get to Rupert. She didn't really realize it, but now she does. Yeah, you have supply Pause. lines and stuff, and uh, most of the things are taken care of by military logistics. Yeah. Although, uh, Charlotte, I mean, not Charlotte, Zoe's helped out with those. Yeah. Okay, what next? So you have your mission. Oh. Scout out and make a landing area available. Are they ferrying us over there, or do we have to swim? Uh, well, you guys... Most of you get in the boat to be ferried over there just fine. However, Hester begins taking off all of her clothes and goes and swims in the water naked. All Can right. she at least follow the boat? Uh, Hester, roll a swim check. <laughs> so I watch Hester. Well, I give do Charlotte this. all of my stuff. Why? I, why I tell is Hester her to, swimming? Like, take care of this stuff. Why? I, I asked Hester before we go, like, why, why aren't you coming with us? Why are you swimming? Hmm. I, I look at Slinky, like, what? Sounds like something Slinky also going on here. With Hester. Oh, what about, yeah. what about, uh, Paco? Um, I'll, he, he can meld into my skin with me once I cast, uh, this. So he'll go with me. And I guess since it's like some weird curse compulsion thing, I, I just tell the others, um, I do this all the time. And okay, I'll, I'll swim. Wait, you're cursed? You don't know that, but we don't know. This is the first time we're witnessing. It. Hester oh. tried to become a okay. werewolf, and oh. instead became a compulsive skinny dipper. I forgot. Okay, now I remember that happening. But yeah, my character doesn't know. They're just like, uh, <laughs> whatever. This is the first you guys have seen this. Uh, Hester can keep up with the boat. What is, does Hester's body uh, look good? I, like, look ha. overboard. Like, I have her clothes in my arm, and I just, like, look overboard, just leaning over, like, down at her, like... I don't know, Mantis, am I embarrassed when I do this? Well, that's... A Probably. You can be as embarrassed as you want to, but you have to. <laughs> so it depends how you're going to play it out. You're you're compulsed to do it. Do you feel embarrassed? That okay, you then we're don't gonna, know why, but you just really want to do it. One thing, then um, she tells Charlotte to look after her stuff, and she does look very embarrassed. 
Okay. And, um... Uh, she tells Charlotte to just get them to do something else. Um... Instead, I would like to use Reservoir Points to pull out my spell book and spend some time preparing a spell. Okay. Do we have, like, on other people with us, sheets? or is it just us on the boat? It's just you guys. Okay. So, quick study. One full round. Um, go ahead and set your guys' health to max on your character sheets, and go ahead and set any ability damage you have to max. Or, <laughs> have it go away. <laughs> yeah, max oh, damage. Shit. No, uh, have your ability damage go away. I have, I have because it's been wisdom. three weeks. I'm in a coma now. Okay, um, perhaps... Wait, am no, I still having before, nightmares? Before I pull out the spell no. book, I'm gonna go ahead and okay. um. No, I. Uh, she knows that won't work. She knows that won't work. Okay, she does know that they've been playing around with that stupid thing, and this isn't like the first curse she's had to deal with. So I'm gonna prepare remove curse. And okay, I have to drop. A spell. I'll worry about that on your lab in a second. Um, what do what do I need to do? Roll a caster level. Caster level check. Okay, let me find that button. Um, I'm gonna cast my spectral hand and then send a remove curse at her while she's swimming. Now it does not break the curse. <laughs> Try it later. Okay, I do it again. What is this, a level 4 spell? I could try three more times. Uh, that'll break the curse. Hester, you feel even more embarrassed. Yeah. Now, does she keep going with it? Like, man, I already did this, I can't back down now? Or does she, like, stop and come aboard the boat? I put down her clothes. And I'm, I'm gonna like, come back blanket. aboard and get all of my clothes back on. And I'll, like, wrap her in a blanket as she comes on board. Or a towel, whatever I can and find. And I thank Charlotte. Um. Yeah. I knew something wasn't right. What wasn't right? Why was she swimming? Yeah, exactly. It's the ocean. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you swallow any water? She shakes her head. She says, no, I'll be quite alright. Not the worst I've ever been in. Just embarrassing. Oh, good. You know, and you also, might have gotten a record this is the old slinky. The Oh, Slinky, is he still what? cursed? <laughs> no, this is the this is the other, the old Slinky. Yeah, Slinky does not board the boat. Slinky's still swimming. He's swimming? Yeah. <laughs> Slinky took off all of his clothes and is swimming. Okay. Slinky is also a compulsive skinny dipper. How did he inherit my curse? Uh, wouldn't you like to know that? <laughs> uh, um, it's because magic. you rolled, you rolled, and the first thing you got on the D one thousand was the next thing you touch, uh, gets your curse as well. 
Oh and my god. Roll again. So, I then you got the skinny dipping curse, and then I asked you, do you touch Slanky later that day? So Slanky inherited your curse. Okay. That's um, hilarious. Do um, I know if it if he just has to do it for a while, or if it's like I try to remove, or if he's the just going to keep doing Slanky that as well with my spectral hand. Uh, Slanky swims up into the boat if Hester commands him. Oh, it seems kind of metagaming that you just, like, know that they have these curses. No, it's not. Like, they could you turned magic into a were-robot do... earlier. You guys have been playing around that thing. Every time you guys play around with it, you would Yeah, I'm just saying, the, the snake swimming doesn't seem that suspicious to me, but maybe I don't know snakes. Well, you gotta keep in mind that Charlotte is more intelligent than all of us at this table, and it's really hard to roleplay that. didn't know who they were married to. And so, <laughs> yes, if I come Let's to not these talk conclusions, about that. Charlotte will come to these conclusions. Okay. Okay, so, uh... You eventually make it across the strait, and I need to pull you to this map. <clears throat> you make it to this beat. Sweet. And it is disturbingly quiet here. As soon as you step foot onto the beach, you barely hear the sounds of the waves anymore. I'd like to perception before we get too deep. Yeah, I can zoom out. There's a 20 on the rock. Is that height? Uh, mostly, yes. Those, uh, imagine those heights are in meters and not feet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you screwed That's, now. I'm surprised we got the boat in here so nicely. It is mostly rockier than this. This is one of the few uh, beaches which looks safe enough to ferry people across. Mm -hmm. Do we see or hear anything? You just said it's kind of weirdly quiet. You notice that. Uh, I'm gonna if you'd like a... to look at something specific, uh, you can go ahead and move your characters around. I'm gonna cast. Uh, it's a trap. Heroism and heightened awareness on myself. I like this map. Yeah. I do too. Ca cast detect magic on everything, everywhere. This is I'll weird, eerie, and quiet. On I, myself, I don't do that, but. Yeah, I have heroism and heightened awareness up, and um, so I guess that would actually make that a like 44 or 43 for the give uh, mage armor too. Actually, does heightened awareness stack with heroism for the competence bonus and heroism? Heroism's, heroism's is, morale. And morale. Yeah, so yeah morale. they do stack. And then I guess I'm looking mainly for like a way forward. Like these are just cliffs up here too, <laughs> right? So yeah, yeah. You think uh, you think you see the cliffside sloping down over here? Okay, I want to wander over yonder and check this out. Okay, stop there. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't let I don't want to let Zoe get too far ahead of me. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Get a little close to me. We'll be holding hands. Uh, you see, you no, see what look to be uh, <laughs> some scouts, uh, but it looks like it looks like they're either unconscious or uh, passed out over here. Okay, and, I, as soon as I see uh, them, I start being quiet. Sneaky. Zoe, you you also start uh, hearing uh, something. Start hearing some music. Uh. That sounds scary. Fine. See, that's not scary, it's not- I kind of want to just listen to the music and not play the game. Oh, you. So, I'm going to sneakily approach and like kind okay, of you sneak. point towards them if the party's with me so that they know what I'm looking at. So, yeah, I'm going to try and sneak up and I hope my okay, self roll is right. Stop. I probably don't have my armor Stop. on or something. Um, Isaiah, you also see see something through this brush you see like some movement in one of the slits of the rock up here in that boulder there's like a crevice or a cave and you you think you see some movement um and zoe as you start getting closer uh these ghostly spirits start dancing coming up from the ground and they're dancing all around you to the music and the music gets louder Hooray. uh i take a step back and just like watch and if nothing's making any threatening movements i'll just watch for a second or minute here and see what happens i'll uh i'll nudge rodney and point out the movement i saw over there i don't know if he do the spirits seem to notice me I doubt Rodney, I saw it, at least. They seem to be completely entranced with this dance. Can I tell where the music's coming from? It seems to be coming from in front of you. And as you're looking for it, out from this boulder steps a shadowy figure that has both a scythe in two hands, a violin in another two hands, and then sort of contorted back behind him, he's playing a spectral piano. That's neat. Is he, like, Very sitting crazy. down? No. He moved out of this rock, as did the spectral piano. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, wait, is everyone, like, really that far back? Like, I'd, like, wait, around, like, come over here, and I'd, like, take a step back, like, what, what is this? <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. And he starts to move slowly closer to you. I, I keep backing up, hoping my party's gonna move up and look and tell me what this is. If I can get a look at it, can I try to knowledge it? Okay. It looks hostile, and it's going to start moving faster now, so we're going to go into initiatives. Okay. Shouldn't know the dark evil thing was hostile. Well, I mean, he only said it several times. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, before he said it, I should have figured. Oh. I mean, dark things can be nice. I thought maybe it was just gonna, like, is a, a Grim Reaper is gonna reap the souls of the lost people and then leave us to our own business. He's just playing music. <laughs> There's nothing threatening about that. <laughs> hmm, where do I put this? Yeah. 
I am digging the music though, for reals. It's way better than the ice cream truck music earlier. Well, that was while you were deciding things. It's my elevator music. Where's this thing's initiative? Oh gosh, this thing has a crazy initiative modifier. Same as Rodney. Luckily he can only move as far as that aura on him, so I'm safe. That's where you see, uh... Oh, sorry, this guy's at the... No, this guy's at... Wait, I mean, there's multiple people? Not 200, Jesus. Rodney, you're up first. Um, I the here, so. aura is where you see the dancing ghosts. I see. Yeah, I can't even see the guy. Um... I'm gonna move next to Zoe and total defense. Okay. It's this guy's turn. Oh, I didn't get my initiative He on drifts that. towards you guys. Rodney and Zoe. Give me will saves. Will save? Why is it always will save? Okay, there we go. It's, it's usually Actually, will save. Actually, it would have been higher. How much higher should that have been? It should be 13 instead. Okay. Got it. Sure. Because it doesn't, it wasn't including dismissing the, uh, whatever spell, uh, heightened awareness, plus four. Zoe and Rodney, you guys both join this dance. Oh, uh, each perfect. of you roll me a d4. I think that's maybe a good time to roll a one. We'll see, one of us did well. Rodney, you take one constitution damage, Zoe, you take four Shit! constitution damage. <laughs> Are you serious? You are under the effects of irresistible dance. Oh my god. You're dancing your life away. <sighs> Does that automatic? Yeah, it automatically deals with my HP. Perfect. Has I hate this game. Mm-hmm. Can I try and knowledge it? Mm. You can. This is what the hut does. Yeah. Can I? Is it knowledge of religion? It is indeed. Um. Go ahead. Do you have uh? You have perform, right? Go ahead and give me your perform yes, as well. I'm gonna see if that gives you a competence you... bonus. Okay. Uh, I have both sing and dance. Does it matter which one I use? Uh, roll whichever's higher. Okay, Hester, you identify the name of this song first. This is the Dance Macabre, or the Dance of Death, and that triggers you to know what you're dealing with here. Death. This is an undead of the same name. It's incorporeal, it's immune to cold, it has 
uh, spell resistance. And you know that if you're hit by its scythe or caught in its uh, in the dance aura around it, uh, it will damage your constitution. Do we know if it's immune to tuberculosis? Okay. Just for you know, off it chance. is. It's undead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, you know, guys, it was fun playing with you. Um, Zoe's had a great time, and and now she's done. Does she know dancing. if does she know if if the effect needs the music to function? <laughs> I guess I can roll that check when I get to my turn too. But... If I have some way to silence it, yeah. Can we get a round tracker as well, by the way? Like a number? Oh yeah, sure. I think I'm going to be using some... I mean, I don't know, round... Uh, this level round duration stuff. Probably You also know that combat. this is a... a supernatural ability. And so it is not dispellable. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have something that'll work against this. Maybe. Depends on how the ability works. I'd tell everyone else to, to, to stay far away from it. Actually, gonna... I just read this now. So I'm going to retcon it. Uh, Rodney, you actually make the save. You are not affected by this. You are not dancing. You do not take the con damage. You do not pass go. You do not collect $200. Those are also true. <laughs> but yeah, um, we gotta stay away from it, and we need magic, basically, to kill it. It's incorporeal. Right, but you also know it has high SR. Okay. Magical and weapons to kill it. And four spell. Well, Slanky and I are gonna back way up. Tell Charlotte she should do the same. That's our turn. Okay. Charlotte. Whoo! Yeah, guys, what's up? What's going on? Um. It's okay. I got a plan. Oh. Uh... I think I got a little bit of setup I have to do first, but... Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... I'm keeping my... You know... You said he was just immune to cold, right? Yeah, he got spell resistance, too. Is there any other creatures that are threatening, or just this, this dude? Like, the dancing ghosts aren't, like, individuals, are they? They're not individuals, no. Okay. But they seem to be, like, flowing through Zoe and taking away some of her life, life force. Much sad. Um, I will cast invisibility on myself. 
Okay. I'm gonna kind of just move slightly over here. Okay. And, and that's it. Zoe, go ahead and make me a will save. Will save? More like I'm dead. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, but I guess this kind of thing can be a lot better dancing. than that. This is what happens Go when I take Iron Will. D4. So I still fail everything. Yeah, I don't know if I can get you out of this. Well, okay, I could, but it puts me in a much, much worse position than I really want to be. Because I can only don't worry. Once, one spell this round. Yeah, that's kind of. I've situation. already lost like half my so. HP almost. Well, you know, I mean, we gotta prep. And I don't get to play, do I? You want to? You are dancing. Give him a fiddle. All right, so it's a good thing I started PUBG. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? Um. You do have some ability to give bonuses to your saves, if you don't remember that. Uh, uh after what? You have an item. Uh... I'm looking. It's a ring, I believe. Wait, that works on saves? Yes. Uh, However, let's you see, need to blah, tell blah, me blah. before you roll the roll whether you're going to use it or not. Oh, it does work on saving throws. Well, you know, I'm going to roll a 1 next time, so it doesn't really matter, but sure. I'll try it. Hester, from atop of this uh, boulder over here, something shoots at you. Okay. Does a 22 hit your flat-footed touch? Yes. That is the wrong thing. Take nine damages. Messiah. Um... religion on this thing as well. Okay. Because I didn't get my other questions answered earlier, but... Um... So, activate my luck as well, so that's a 23. Okay. So, do I know what this thing is too? Uh, because Hester spewed the name, yes, you know. You're getting a confidence bonus know, on this. Do I know if the effect needs sound to function? I would hope so. Or I would think so. I would too, but I'm, I'm what, I'd like to know for sure that... Because if it doesn't, and I try this, and it, if I try this, and it doesn't actually do anything, then it's actually like worse than just not doing anything at all. <clears throat> you know that it does not depend on it, but it may help. 
Hmm, okay. Um... It may weaken the effect. Then I probably am gonna hold off on doing that for now, because... I mean, Zelia doesn't look very good right now, right? But at the same no. time... No. Yeah. At the same time, if I go in, I'm just gonna get fucking wrecked, too. <laughs> so, I think I am going to have to... Let's see here. I think I either want to do haste or mirror image in at this point, but I can't actually... Well, if I five foot step forward, I could haste, like, the whole party, but... Um, I don't think I want to do that. Uh, unless we did, unless we already got haste. What did what did Charlene end up casting again? Invisibility. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't even know where Charlotte is technically. That's correct. Um, <laughs> so let's see. I think I'm gonna cast mirror image on myself because that seems like probably a good idea. And then I'm going to move back as well because I need a little bit more prep time so I'm gonna kind of follow okay. back towards where Hester is and mirror image on myself what is this d3 plus four I think or is it plus three it's only plus three right now I think I think it's plus four next level and that's my turn okay uh Rodney Nice, Max Roll. Um, you are unaffected well, by this thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, he's, Zoe, but... He's stealing your jam. He's fucking doing the Highland thing. That's your, that's your business, uh. right? Um, I'm gonna move here Great. and... Full defense. Oh, boy. Okay. This thing moves up. Charlotte, go ahead and make me a will save. Yeah. Okay. Invisibility doesn't save me from this shit. Boo. No. Boo, I say. Oh, yay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Charlotte, you are now dancing. Why? Lucky. Well, you guys can't see it, so I don't have to deal with that. Go ahead and roll a d4 for me. Ooh. That means I have to push this button. Haha, is that good? You take one con damage. Oh, that's, that's alright. Hester. Oh, it doesn't actually attack like, Zoe and just playing its music, huh? It's just playing That's its good, music. So I can still pretty bad. Shot me? Yeah. yeah, you can. I even okay. pointed them out to Rodney earlier. I don't know. You might have caught it when I pointed out. Like I said, hey, there's somebody up there just before this happened. I told Rodney because he was the one standing next to me, so I said it directly to him, but I didn't try to keep it secret from everyone else or anything. Just checking the range on this spell. Oh, it's close. Damn. What about this one? Is this... No, that's close too. Hmm. There's about, uh... Yeah, 75 Yeah. Feet. Yeah. A little bit more, but about that. I'm going to try and perception to see if I see any more of these guys hiding around. Sure. I'm trying to, like, snipe up. Uh, you don't. It's only... It's only that guy. And you're Just fairly sure of that. 
Mm-hmm. What an asshole. Alright, well then I'm going to cast a uh, fly and split the duration between myself and Slinky. Okay. And I'm going to give Slinky the command to attack this guy. Okay. So Slinky's going to start flying towards him. Actually, could he charge? Maybe not, I don't know. Remember, it's so half speed up going him. up. Yeah. He might just put a double move getting up to him. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, uh, go ahead and make me another will save. Oh, okay. And I fly over here as well. Is your turn done, Hester? Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Go ahead and roll me another d4. Ah, oh, shoot. You take two more con damage. Oh, no. Zoe, go ahead and do me the same. Do I get a will save? You do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, oh, okay. that's what he means. I thought you meant just roll a d4. Um, I guess I'll use the bonus. Where's my thing? So I get a plus five profane bonus to this. Damn. You save. You are no longer affected. Uh, okay. That was a full round things. action to get out of, though. You can still five foot step, then. Okay, I need to fix my health. Okay, health is fixed. And then I can five foot step. Uh, up here, I guess. I don't know. Am I gonna have to will save every turn? This is like insane. No, I don't. Or am think I now so. like Rodney immune to it? Rodney hasn't been rolling anymore. Okay. And also, I'm gonna throw a spell that'll help, hopefully. Probably on this you guy's since turn. you're actually already there. This guy's gonna step back and full round the uh, big snake that's coming after him. Uh, he's still in its reach. Okay. This will provoke. Okay, it's gonna try and bite him. That'll hit. Do all of those hits uh, Slanky's touch? Uh, yes. Uh, Slanky notices that most of its damage does not go through. Okay. Um, he also has the same. And Flanky takes poison. 24 damage. Okay. It looks like he saves. Okay. Aside. Um, I'm going to cast Silence on Zoe, and assuming that Zoe lets this happen, it just it just happens. Okay, sure. If you don't want to be silenced, Sounds you good. can roll a will save, but it makes no, it I can so be that silent. there's a 20 foot radius around you with where there is no sound. And I'm going to. Um, 
think I'm going to move back though 30 feet for now to whoops because I don't even though the silence in there I'd prefer to not have to make the save quite yet if I can help it but yeah silence on Zoe and that should hopefully help Charlotte I guess I can't see Charlotte but Figuring that'll help everybody, as long as because I figure Zoe's probably staying near this thing anyway. <laughs> to like attack it. Rodney. Alright, so this time I'm going to uh charge it. Okay. Yeah, Zoe doesn't doesn't hear That's any going of the music. To provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay. From Zoe. And it. If Zoe, Zoe chooses to attack. Out. Wait, what? what? <laughs> I'm just kidding around, but because Rodney ran past you, so I was like, that provokes from Zoe. Uh, okay. So wait, why are you asking what weapon I have out? Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, because I was curious if you actually do provoke. I don't know if you even have one. Oh. Out. This is this. Is I don't know. I did PUBG. I approach with a weapon out? While no, I'm not actually playing PUBG. Oh. I I just open it to look at stuff, but um, I guess I have. I mean, I would have come to the beach with my magic weapon from Lady Person. <laughs> what what's her name? <laughs> Joan, Joan of Arc. Arc? <laughs> yeah, Joan of Arc. Her. Lady person. <laughs> I don't. I can never remember her name, and I don't know why. Okay. Um, a note That's all. So Rodney, you you may charge, yeah. and it'll yeah. provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah. So this will be before you get in range. Does that hit your touch? Yes. Go ahead and make me a fortitude save. He takes seven normal damages, and that's it. Did you end up casting haste? Nope, I have not cast haste right. yet. Alright, um... I attack. 24? 24 hit! Half of that damage goes through. This thing's turn. This thing doesn't like that. It's gonna full round you. Those hit your touch. Yes. Go ahead and make me two fortitude saves. You take ten normal damage. And one con damage. Has to I'm going to fly over to my snake and I'm going to cast Righteous Might and divide the duration between us. Okay. Can you uh, put a link to that spell in chat, please? Yeah. Wait, did I fill it out?
I didn't fill it out yet. Okay, so here's the link. And Slinky's going to move forward five feet and attack the guy. Okay. That'll miss. Oh, he gets bigger. Uh, can you increase his... He's, like, huge now. Do you get bigger, too? He's a huge snake. I also get bigger, technically, yeah. I doubt your weapon damage goes up. It does, but it doesn't... The bullet doesn't get the damage because it's a ranged projectile, so it yeah, yeah, that's back what I meant. down. When I, when I was talking about you. Yeah. Well, everything else I'd use in melee does. But uh, okay. that's my turn. Or that's our turn? Yeah, that'll miss. Uh, Charlotte, go ahead and make me a will save. Mm. She is in the silent sphere, though, so I don't know if that gives her a bonus. Uh -huh. Charlotte, you're not affected anymore. That was a full round action to escape from it. Oh. So you can five foot step or a swift action. Buy it again. I don't think so. Oh boy, not! I'm gonna five foot step back. I'm still invisible. Zoe, it's your turn. Do I have to roll a will save? No. Okay, I'm gonna attack this thing with uh, my plus two dealio. I'm gonna study it first. And, yeah. Die? You gonna die? No, I hope it dies. Oh, okay. Uh, two of those hit. And it looks like half of your damage goes through. Um, is there... What do you, you need Ghost Touch to overcome that? It doesn't matter if you have like a plus five and it doesn't overcome. Magic will do like 50% less damage or Ghost yeah, Touch will do... Yeah, that's why he's doing half damage. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so, just, it's not like a cold iron deal where if you have like a plus three or whatever, it's cold iron or... Nope. Or if you All can right, get both of you guys on the, over here. on the ethereal plane, then you can totally attack him there. Is that right? Oh, okay, that's all. Yep. Uh, that's easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Take that, meanie. You're lucky he doesn't also have concealment, though, because most a lot of times there's stuff that's on the ethereal plane also. Hey, I rolled concealment there. Good. I rolled well, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe he did have concealment and then he just rolled well on it. He might have, yeah. Damn, why is Hester so big? You know, Pluto, when yeah, you say these things, the man just goes... Man just goes and looks at the character or the, the monster. He wait, does this have concealment that I forgot about? And then we have to fight against concealment because you told him. That's what happens. No, that's what no, happens no, no. You me. rolled it's high fine. against the concealment. Just don't remind me about things. Uh, this really guy's bad, gonna five actually. foot step back, <laughs> take deadly aim at Slanky. Rude. Well, Slanky's all up in his face. Oh, damn. He's gonna full Slanky. round. Yeah, but he's uh, gonna take an attack of opportunity again. What is that's what correct? Is, that there? is that some some sniper? dude or asshole? Oh, does he look Chinese or? I don't know if the snake knows that. Oh, uh, that will snake? miss. I mean, I know Slinky has a fat ass, but surely it can't be that big. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's up on a rock, though. Do any of those cool. miss Slinky's touch AC? Uh, no, those all hit.
Slanky takes 51 points of damages. Damn. That's minus 15 after all of that from the DR. Slinky's like a bad boy. Right. Well, he decided to start using something that increases his damage because my the DR would have heavily reduced all that. It still reduces a lot turn. of damage. Um, I'm going to cast uh, see invisibility on myself. Okay. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna start making my way back in now that I got the buffs I need up. Uh sure. Sure. so and then that's it for the moment. And then yep. Rodney. Five foot step here. Okay. And attack. Okay, give me two percentages. No, oh, that's that's awesome. You missed. Did we start in round zero or round uh round one. Round one, okay. This guy hasn't been hitting it, so he's going to step towards Zoe and full round Zoe. Well, Zoe, it's been an honor. It was nice knowing you. Do those hit your touch? Uh, I don't even need to look, and I can say yeah. Make me two fort saves. Bye. God bless. Fort saves uh, good you save. take 11 damage. And 2 con damage. Yep, nice knowing you guys. Hester. I'm going to cast Barrow Haze. Okay. Go ahead and uh, draw that out. Yeah, I'm getting the thingy for it. I think it's this. Twenty foot that looks radius. About right. Okay. Surprised bards don't get restoration on their spell list. And I have Slinky fall back with me. Okay. It might be a little too divine for a party. And trick. we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay in here. I guess so. Sure. All right, that's our turn. I don't have it any. I mean, even if it was on there, I didn't have it picked. But I'm just trying. Uh, to, I guess that's why I didn't pick it. Otherwise, I probably would have. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You can act normally. Oh, good. Okay. Um. Crap. Uh. What is what is Zoe doing? Is she attacking? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was, but now I've been, like, hit with all the con damage in the world. Yeah, keep in mind she's got um, more of silenced uh, around her for 20 feet as well. Yeah. Is so if you want to do, like, a touch spell, you'll have to cast it outside. You're not in it right now, no. So you can actually hear the... Well, actually, I don't know if you can hear the music. If it's coming directly from him, you probably can't. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know what I can do about him, but... 
Um, I, I'm still invisible. I'm going to uh, back up more over here so it feels just a little more comfortable. And I'm going to cast Spectral Hand. That's probably a good idea. Oops, that's a square. Too bad I'm not a Magus and I can't cast Spectral Hand and do more shit after that. <laughs> oh, you can. You just need Quicken Spell. Uh, well, yeah, I guess, yeah. Just, <laughs> I hate, I uh, honestly, like, to me, I'm like, I don't want to give up spell slots, you know, higher spell slots just for certain things, you know, it's, it doesn't make me happy. <laughs> Yeah, it's worth it, I think, but the other option, of course, is you can just get a meta magic rod, quick and meta magic rod, like, is really good, too. Expensive. Mm -hmm. Even just for the low level ones. And where yeah, are they are expensive that in Mantis's level. world? <laughs> well, you could craft it, but. Mm. Take a month off, people. Yeah. Over a month. Just I mean, I'm not time. opposed to that. I do have a <laughs> shit ton of con damage. Well, it's not going to take a month to get rid of that. Uh, it's like three months. You say well, that. We'll see, because we might, we might end up having a window where we'll have time to do that. I don't know what's happening after this, but... Maybe. There's a good chance we have to go to, like, North America or something like that. So, I mean, like, back there. So, I mean, yeah. maybe that it. during Whatever, that time. the silence is a square now. It's a Zoe. square now, okay. What, you can make me? It a uh, it's five not foot step back, back and hit it? Oh, he, the aura? Oh. So this, yeah, the aura is not quite right, but I mean, it's whatever. Uh, where's my <laughs> thing? It's close. <laughs> it's fourth edition. Uh, one of those hits, it deals half damage. Oh, we're on the oh, shit, we're on the fourth edition. Oh shit! closer to me. Go away, Zoe. Then we're on fourth edition tile. Don't bring your silence to me. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Well, well that was just a joke about fourth, fourth edition, edition mechanics. Tile. I gotcha. The, I gotcha. It's it. The aura is using the silences. <laughs> yeah, for this fourth combat, edition because it's what? not changing. That just annoys me too that it defaults to it. It's like that's not even the nobody no not very many people play fourth edition anymore. Squares like, are circles in fourth edition. Yeah, fourth edition's weird like that, and that's 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 why nobody plays it anymore. That's why everyone moved on to fifth edition or Pathfinder. Well fifth edition is like that too. Oh, is it really? Yeah. I thought they used I thought they used the same uh This guy's gonna geography. move over here. I and he the same... he's a... Uh... He's going to take aim at, uh, Rodney. For some reason I thought they used the same geometry as, like, real geometry in, in 5e. I didn't realize they, they used the wonky 4e geometry. Uh, do all of those hit your touch? The first two. You take 36 damages. It's not um, let's see here. Yep, this is where I want to be. So even though it looks like it's in the aura, that's actually not in the silence aura. It is in the other aura though, so I don't know if that's going to make me have to like roll a will save. Maybe that you doesn't. I don't even know if that triggers right save. away. Does that trigger right it away or is right it going to be like... Okay. Uh, so... Uh, this does have heroism and my luck bonus going, so... And I guess I could, if they roll poorly, I could just throw a plus 8 on it right now as well. Let me double... Let me think about this real fast. What is my bonus? Uh, yeah, we might as well just use one of my luck bonuses now. So, I'm going to throw a sure. plus 8 on this as well. So, it's going to be really high. Um, so... That's going to be a 28. You succeed. Alright. Plus I maybe got a bonus for him being in silence. 
Uh, and I'm right at the edge of the silence, so I'm going to cast Haste on me, Rodney, and Zoe. Haste on the okay. party. Make haste, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Rod. What was make haste? Was that the paragon skill? Yes, it was a paragon skill, actually. Okay. That's the one you use in HA all the time for running relics. All right. Yeah. I'm going to five foot step again. Okay. Uh, click the haste button. Haste button, there we go. Um, not flanking. I'm going to use a swift action to um, whisper vulgar words to Vicious to make her hit harder. Sure. You are out of the <laughs> silence. Barely. Even though the war is misleading. And <laughs> round 20, this guy. 25 feet away, it looks like. Yeah, it's mostly... Uh, roll 2d100. First no, that's a mat, one. uh, one. Still roll 2d1. <laughs> if you just ignore the five yeah. squares at the very corners of the square, then it's accurate. I think, yeah. The five squares at each corner, then it's accurate. Uh, this thing notices that you're moving uh, faster. Uh, and you're not dancing. It's going to withdraw up here. It flies up next to Hester. Oh, okay. Hester, does that go like ahead and make a will provoke? Save. Does that like provoke? It provokes from, from Zoe, Zoe uh, but not Rodney. Yeah. Oh boy. Get it. I believe in uh, you. Just take the first attack. I don't feel like being fancy. Uh, you hit it, and about half of the damage goes through. Well, we'll save for uh, Slanky as well. Yeah. Ooh, that is very close for Slanky, but Slanky does not succeed. Uh, roll a d4 for Slanky. Now, it's going to be annoying to get up there without flying. Well, it's going to be annoying for Rodney and Zoe, maybe. Slanky but... takes two con damage. I am a bard. I can cheat. Has... It's okay, Hester, I believe in you. So it's looking at me? Yeah, it's come at you. And Slanky's like standing... now dancing. It's hovering right next to you. Okay, just a moment. Yeah, it's one centered action. Alright, I'm gonna try and cast defensively. Okay. I'm gonna cast a second level spell defensively, so the DC should be 19. Okay. Alright, um, I cast Carry Companion, and since he's within touch, Okay. I touch Slanky, and he turns into an inanimate uh, little statuette of himself, which I carry, okay. and then I'm going to fly with... I'm going to fly away from this Come guy. Come fly with me, towards... fly, that will provoke fly my away. Yeah, that's fine. Does that hit your touch? 
23? Yeah. Uh, it does. Um, can he see through my... my thing? He can. Okay, well that hits. What'd he see through? My barrow haze. Roll a fort save. You take ten or six damages and maybe some con damage. You don't take any con damage. Charlie. You can't see this thing anymore. He's in the barrow haze. That's fine. I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna send a... Uh, who looks worse? Like, it... What's... What's Rodney doing right now? Rodney is... chilling at the bottom of this cliff right now. Yeah. Just, <laughs> he was trying to... Chilling. He was trying to attack this thing, but it flew away. So right. he's got his violin out. And... Okay. Zoe, okay, so it's like weird because Rodney has lower percentage health right now, but I think Zoe might actually be lower health just because of the con damage. Uh, yeah, I'm at 43. Rodney is at one lower health. Okay, so they both look about as bad as each other. Maybe Zoe looks more sickly. She looks more drained. <sighs> okay, well then I. Zoe first, I will go ahead and heal, I'll send a spectral hand out to heal Zoe with a, uh, a third level cure. I was gonna say, a lot of my health can't actually be recovered. Uh, add one to that, because we're level 11 and I forgot to modify it. I think that's above my max. Serious caps at 15, right? Yeah. Yeah, that oh. puts me to my max HP with how much con damage I've taken. I've had this silence up for three rounds, right? Or is it four? I think I cast it on round three. Okay. So it should end on round 14. Okay, so that's what I do. Thanks. Okay. Just because it does actually seem like it might be a combat where that'll not be relevant. And then haste might end at round... 15, I think, because I cast haste like. Oh, I, I forgot my haste attack. Later. Damn. You didn't get it. I don't. I don't know if you. I had one, I thought. It. No, I cast it after, so you haven't had your turn with haste yet. I cast it just last round. Zoe, it's your turn. Did you? Okay. Uh, well. It's actually last round. He went up here. And I can move 30 feet. I think, with the magic. So 60, 60 feet with haste. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if climbing is going to be easier than... This is only 10 meters. 10 is meters 30 feet. is about, yeah. So I'd rather... Yeah, I'm going to run around. So if I run, I can run four times my normal move speed. You can only run four in a straight line with run. You can do turns. It doesn't have to be a straight line, does it? Yeah. It slows you down. No, my armor is super magical. Okay. You you need to do acrobatics to make a sharp turn. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So, I can without haste, I can run 120 feet. With haste, I can run 240 feet. Keep in mind, if you fail, you might put yourself prone. That's or fine. Something. I don't know what what will happen, but I don't fail. I'm Zoe. Oh. Famous last words. <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm gonna run here. Acrobatics to make a sharp turn and go here. So we'll see if I can do that. Zoe gains a little health and then dives in. Ugh. Hopefully you've like... 27? Um... That is sharper than 45 degrees. Wait, there's a uh, sharpness 
thing to this because I, yes, I would make multiple roll, sharp rolls to this. Okay, I would make multiple rolls to not turn super sharp. Mm. Then I don't think it works that way. If that's I don't know if that's how it works. The difference between this vector and this vector is more than forty-five degrees. You fall. So you can only turn once. You fall Usually on the ground over roll here. Is made to deal with the whole situation. All right, this is. I mean, this is this is like so unreal. Like I can literally run over here, stop, then run back up the other way and be fine. Well, I just don't know how to do that in the game mechanics. If, well, you gotta keep in mind that your turn is only six seconds, so you said stop, so therefore you lost a moment. Right, but I got there in 155 feet. I have another like 100 feet of time to deal with. Like, I'm pretty sure I could figure out how to, like, turn and not fall over in that time, but I don't know. Whatever. I mean, that's a long distance to run. I mean, you could have just double moved. You could have double moved and got uh, I, I could have double moved. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I could, yeah. Alright, whatever. This isn't my combat anyways. <laughs> I, I probably should have just ran away, honestly, so I'd stop taking freaking con damage. Maybe. And just be like, I'm living. Yeah. This it's guy's gonna continue shooting. Actually, he sees somebody approaching this path that goes up. He's gonna shoot at that guy. Oh dear. Hopefully you're far enough away that it's not versus touch AC, at least. He's not shooting me, is he? He said shooting a guy, not shooting a girl. Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, let's see. You're just, well, you are prone, so that's going to have a bonus. Yeah, that's true, too. All planned. Uh, do also, any said... of, do any of those hit your AC? Uh, what is my did you apply the Did you apply minus 4 to the attack roll? It should be plus I 4 did. to your AC, I think. Did Did you apply or did you not? I yeah, did so not. You have, plus four, then, you have plus 4 to your okay, AC. Okay, then none of it from. hits. I have 29 okay. with the plus 4. Yes, I am. All planned. You did this on purpose. Good job. Yep. <laughs> um, I am going to cast... Uh, dimension door and just be right here. I'm just gonna dimension okay. door. Okay. What's up? That's my turn. Rod. Um, let's see here. So if I double move. I'm gonna double move up to here. Okay. This guy, he senses somebody approaching. And, uh, he's going to move over here and attack Rodney. Rodney, make a fort save. You take nine damages. Gross. You take three con damage. Alright. Hester. So, if my con dam or my constitution now goes down, do I lose that as damage as well? It should automatically adjust your maximum health, but that's basically, yeah, you lose maximum health, and then your I, I know I lose max health, but do I also lose it as current health? Yes, it goes from the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. It, it steals your health from the bottom, so. Alright. I think roll 20 will do that automatically, but... I... Uh, so, on my turn, I'm going to... Yeah, so Rodney's almost dead. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't know how to help him. Story of this yeah. combat. Someone's almost I dead do the whole not time. Know how to help. But I do have some range medium on this, so I'm going to fly back into my barrow haze. And okay. also cast debilitating portent on this guy. Okay. It's no initial save, it's just whenever he attacks, he has to make a will save, and if he fails, he deals half damage with that attack. And Slinky is a statue, so he's just coming with me. And that's my turn. So, debilitating portent on this sniper guy. Okay. That's my turn. And I tell Charlotte that Rodney's looking really bad. You can't see Charlotte, but I'm sure you're talking to the air. <laughs> I can see Charlotte! Oh! <laughs> Hi. I've seen visibility. Nice. You notice that the spell fizzles. I don't know. He has spell resistance somehow. Who is this doofer anyway? Like. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not correct. The roll is 28. The spell does not fizzle. No, oh, you thought the 10 was the roll for at first, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to double check. Charlotte. Uh. I don't know who or what it is, but it's sure, like, really well statted. Okay. Um, I forgot. I've I've been forgetting to take the uh, damage when I cast the spell, so I'm just gonna do that now. Uh, sure. So there's that. Okay. Uh, I will cast a cure. Um, let's do a cure critical wounds for Rodney. Send the spectral hand sure. to deliver. Oh, jeez. Why do I even bother with the higher level cures? I feel like they're a failure every time. Ronnie, you heal for 24. Zoe. Yeah, I'll stand up. Um. Hmm. Then I'm thinking I might not even move over there. I don't know. Do I really want to fight this thing? <sighs> you have a ranged weapon? I'll go hide behind this rock, I guess. I mean, I could summon one, I guess, but whatever. I don't care. I'll go hide behind this rock. Okay. Uh, this guy. This guy's gonna aim at Asaya and fire. Okay. One of those automatically misses. Another one also misses. Does 7 come within 5 of your touch AC? Um... What is my touch AC here? I think uh, 7 does not, no. And 15 okay. meets my touch AC. So that one he's got to roll versus images, which I have 7 of, so it's a D8. It takes out an and image. And I don't get to attack or retain him because I dim doored, so I can't actually take any actions. Okay. Gotta admit, the uh, music's getting old now. 
<laughs> you can't hear it. Your character can't hear it. You should just like turn it off. Yeah, I, just, I just muted it. <laughs> it's yeah, you're... It, it's driving you insane as it is. No, his to. character is his character literally can't hear it though because it's got a silence aura. Like she she can't hear oh, it, that's... and uh, Rodney can't hear it right now either. Uh, it's the dance of the but dead. But I can. Yeah, yeah. Your mortal ears um... weren't meant to hear it for long. <laughs> But yes, Let's it's your see turn here. to shine. Alright, I am going to full round this guy, I suppose. Um, sure. So, let me just make sure all my shit is on. Uh, I don't need to activate my luck bonus this round. I still have it for through this round. I'll have to reactivate it next turn. Uh, so, first attack. Um, do I want to, like apply my luck bonus. No, I don't. I'll just do this. Okay. So, first attack, 21. Probably a miss, but... That'll miss. Maybe not. Okay. Second attack... from haste. That'll hit. That'll hit. Okay. Do 17 damage. And then... last attack... Uh, this is with your lungs? This is with the katana? This is with the Blade of the Sword Saint, yeah. Okay. You so notice that most of that doesn't go through. Okay. Um, yep, well there's not much I can do about that, so I'm just gonna keep attacking. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a perception. Uh, okay. If I can find the button, there it is. The Bhutan, you mean? Yeah, so that's a 33, 32, 32. Okay, you notice that this guy doesn't seem to be living. He seems to be uh, of the undead corporeal type. And you can deduce that you probably need bludgeoning damage and magic to get through his DR. I actually don't have one of those, uh, oddly enough. Like a magic bludgeoning weapon, so... Yeah. What? Really? No, I don't. I have, uh... That's such a surprise. Yeah. So... Uh, but I'm gonna just do my last attack anyway. Hey! Chance for a critical. Assuming it's not like a mute mm -hmm. or crits or something. Uh, does not confirm, though. You do not confirm. Go ahead and roll the damage. Yep. It looks like, uh, more than half of that gets through. Alright. And, uh... Yep, then I'll... Go back to one-handing the, the sword from AC bonus. Sure. Not that it matters. Not much, but actually, it might be better not to. I'm not going to do it. It's a free action, so I'm just going to choose to keep two hands on. I don't think the shield's helping in this situation. And if I get an entire opportunity, I won't do What's as much the, damage as possible. How high is is this? Like a ledge right above me, or is that part of the cliff that's like high? Up? It's 20 meters. Oh, that it one. Is, it is a 10? huge boulder. Yeah, it says 10 above your okay. thing. Right next to you is 10 meters. The big, big one yeah, is so 20 this, meters. This is 10. This is 10 more up here. Oh, my health bar was covering it. Okay. And this one over here is... Yep, yeah. This one over here is 5. So there's some terrain in your way. Causing all sorts of fun issues for you. Whatever. Um... Rodney's going I guess I to have brought ask Vicious here what to me. do, and Vicious is just going to reply with kill, kill, kill. So, <laughs> um, Rodney... If Rodney dies, at least he died doing what he loved. round attacks this guy. If Vicious dies, at least Vicious died doing what he loved. So... Uh, go ahead and give me, uh, three, uh... D100s are incorporeal immune to crit. I hope not. Yes, they are. This game's mm, dumb. Incorporeal or immune to crit. You Unless have you to have, have a ghost, ghost touch or something else.
It looks like half of your damage goes through, and none of those crits confirm, even though they would have if it had been there, really. How many hit? Uh, three. Okay, I take a lot of self-damage. No, 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 two. Two hit. Not, not three. Okay. My bad. The uh, second and the third one. Is this guy's turn? Hmm. I'm gonna move over here. It's gonna provoke from Rodney. Okay. Uh, roll a d100. You hit? The one time a red number is good. And he's gonna attack Hest. Uh, this guy likes to ping pong between us. That hits your top? Yes. Roll a fortitude save for me. You don't take any con damage. You take seven damages, though. Hester, it's your turn. Okay. Hmm. What else do I have here? It's hard to keep him over here with the melee people. I feel like I haven't had a turn in ages. <laughs> I'd love to be over there and, you know, aggroing him. I'm going to withdraw. Would you? Well, oh, more than go. him being on Hester. I am at full health. You know, it's a low full health, but full health nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Over here. I should have just left Well, you just withdrew health. over the thing? Are you flying or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hester's flying. Oh, okay. Uh, that will provoke. Uh, withdraw? Yeah, he has reach. You went through his threatened squares, though. He has 10 foot reach. Did, right, did Rodney here. heal when I healed you? Oh, yeah, no, no, I that was won't. Here, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I moved okay, back yeah, yeah, yeah. And You'll... then this way. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay. Charlotte. Did Rodney well... apply the healing yeah, from he when he healed. got healed earlier? So he I just has taken so more damage. Vicious yeah, yeah. wrecked him. Yeah. Um, oh, there's like. I have better luck with my lower level spells than my higher level spells, so I'm going to send the spectral. <laughs> oh man god, to that's not good logic. Serious wounds. See, twenty four, exactly the same as the critical wounds roll. So yeah. Perfect. That's very result oriented. Well, it's it's my experience, and, and yeah, I'm adapting, I'm <laughs> adapting to my that's, 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 That logic is in line with my, I got my nat, tw or nat 1 out of the way early. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. alright, fair. Same logic. Charlotte, do you want to move? Uh, 
Sure, I'm invisible, and I see Hester's coming this way, and I don't really want to get, like, involved with all that shit, so I'm gonna kind of move this way, I guess. Man, every time we get in a fight, Charlotte just disappears. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Zoe. And somehow uh, you stay alive. <laughs> yeah. So I still have Hasterino. You sure do. do. You do not know where he is, though. Wait, I don't. Well, you saw you saw him. You're hiding there, behind think, a right? rock. No, it's well, you didn't see he then. specifically said he's. Okay, I, I know, I know, I, I know that he was up here. So I'll peek around the corner. Yeah, and you don't during see my movement. And you don't see it. Um. Okay. You see the guy in front of you, probably. I see the ghost around there. I, do I see the guy up by Isaiah? Uh, you do. He's on the edge of a boulder, pretty much directly above you. Yeah, we're only like 20 okay. meters up, so it's like, what? So, he's high enough up that I could have a clear line of fire from here, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull out... Wait, I need to see what action takes what. Damn it. If you're using the Joan of Arc thing, it's a standard action, which is kind of rough. Shit. If you have just a regular bow on hand, you can quick draw it. I don't have, like, think I do. A throwing weapon or something. Let me switch Come on, throw, pull out your dagger and ricochet it off him like four times. I you think I have a large bow. Oh, wait, that's Rodney. <laughs> Oh, I have a composite short bow. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Brilliant. Okay. I don't think it's going to work very well, but, I mean... It's a perfect plan. I'm going to quick draw <laughs> my composite short bow. This is the okay. worst. And then shoot at the guy up here. I can't even, sure. like, tell you, like, don't do it! That's a waste of time! Because you're in a silent sphere, so... <laughs> uh... <laughs> you wouldn't I... know in character. This highly like doubt do, do you? that this skill is right, or that the <laughs> thing on my character sheet is right, but it's not very good, so it's probably fine. <laughs> nice. I love this yeah. game. <laughs> it's it's a great game. I love it. This guy's gonna. Hey, don't you have don't you have more attacks? By the way, though, I mean you have quick draw. Um. Oh, I did quick draw. Where did you move? I, I was thinking did I didn't have a fall round. Well, it depends oh, if Mantis lets me count that as a five-foot step or not. Oh. I, I was going with the intention of moving probably, to the guy. You probably actually have to even move But I stopped after bit. five feet. Oh, wait, no, no, I guess it's up high enough you can shoot over this boulder. No, you're going to have to move at least to this square. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess he only gets one there. Okay. So I moved here, shot at the guy <laughs> with terrible <Completely> miss. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You, you, I, hit, you hit the wall, you just like plink it straight into the wall, straight in front oh of Oh my god. I hate this game. <laughs> You're like, I okay, am that's a valiant, powerful warrior! I mean, I, I have like this a 17 mod on that side. too. Like, come on. That's not bad. Uh, I don't know this, how it's that provoke high. This time, no or does he right. have something to prevent yeah. that from provoking? This okay, provoke. so I'm gonna take one attack on him. Uh, so. It's BB11, uh, Dex 2. Yeah. Oh, and haste, and. That'll yeah, hit? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, you. You deal most of your damage. You, you deal 11 damage. Alright. Man, if only I had ten. deflect arrows right now. This would be so clutch right now. Uh, but I don't. Uh, so so, Those are yep. all gonna hit my touch, so he's just gonna roll versus my uh, my mirror. Well, images. he has debilitating portent on him. Oh yeah, so he's, he's to... dead. He's immune. Oh, yeah, he's immune to, to, to mind it. affecting things. Is it mind affecting? <laughs> That's crazy. It is. It is. It is. Yep. It's an enchantment. Damn. Well, he looks like well, he hold on, it's an enchantment. Images. It's mind affecting. 
Compulsion mind affecting. Oh. Alright, so it takes out a bunch of my images. Alright, it's my turn now. Uh. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Uh. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna keep attacking him. Uh, I'm not doing full damage, but I think it's probably still my best option. So, sure. first attack is That's a chance good. for critical. Does a 22 yep. back it up though? No. Damn. I guess I could have before asking. I could have just been like, I give it a give it a plus four, but no, it's probably not worth it. Um. So, whoops. You already asked, though. I did already ask, I know. But I was saying it probably wouldn't have been worth it anyway, so I'm glad I didn't. That's what I was, what I was trying to say. Uh, second attack. Misses. That'll miss. Uh, third attack. That'll hit. So do some damage. <laughs> uh, chip it away. I, I, got, I think I got this guy handled at least. So you guys just need to do Roger. something about the thing about the ghost. I I believe in you. The thing that I can't see. Sure. Mhm. Mm no problem. So Rodney can't see him right now either. But I guess at least he knows where he went. Yep. Um. But I still wouldn't be able to see him. Cause that's... Correct. Yeah, yeah, this circle is fog, basically. So what I'm going to do instead is... Um... How long would it take me to climb up? A couple of rounds at least. Depending on your climb check. I mean, remember, this is uh, like 30 feet to this oh, one, and then 30 feet to here. It would take so... you two rounds. That's right. is that just to get to this spot up here? Or is that to get up? No, no, no. Way? That's that's to get to the top. So you could right. get up here gonna, one round and then up here another I'm gonna round. Start climbing. Yeah, he has haste, so that's why it takes him two. Yeah. Um, button click, click. Uh, I believe that'll do it. So you move up to a lead. You're here now. This guy charges down at Hester. <laughs> Through the cliff. Oh good, his music isn't affecting me anymore. Go ahead and roll a fortitude save house. Take six damage. Yeah. What kind of damage is this? The bad kind. Uh this damage uh is not untyped, I believe. Oh no, it is untyped. Because it's incorporeal. Um, and you take two con damage. And let me go up here. Esther, it's your turn now. Alright, well I call up the others to come kill this thing. <laughs> That's a lot easier said than done. You, you hear Charlotte's voice somewhere like, I'm busy healing! Everybody hurt. 
It's a hard life, you know? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, my damage resisting is not very good. I am going to... Let's see. I'm gonna double move. One, two. I'm gonna move over here with Zoe. And okay, yes, that's gonna provoke, provoke my movement. But I need- I'm gonna Oops, fly over to Zoe and I need them to, to kill them. Uh, but that is a 31. Does that hit? Yes. Go ahead and give me another fort. Take two more con damage. Yuck. And 10 on top- 10 normal damage on top of that. see it right there you do yeah yeah um you actually see it looking at you oh well in that case i'm i'm gonna definitely do this uh let me just make sure i can all right i'm gonna use two well, not two, but I'm going to use a Archine Reservoir Point to boost the Fireball Caps, right? So, boost the uh, DC on Fireball by two. And Fireball it. Okay. Uh, it... The fireball fizzles. Okay. I, uh... Move. My combat tracker's in my way, but I'll, I'll move. There we go. Yeah. Darn it. Zoe. See? Every time I try to fireball, I just don't work. Uh... So, I think I was... Point out where it was. I still don't know if I'm allowed to, like, climb down this cliff or not. Or how much it'll be. I think you Kinda like just acrobatics stay there. off the cliff? Probably. You think I should stay here and not go after it? Oh. It's hmm. looking at Charlotte right now, so I mean... Oh yeah, I want to like, targets. go over and then like, acrobatics down, and then go over. Don't forget you have your bow out right now, by the way. Okay. Oh, shit. I mean, you have quick draw, so that's not that big a deal, but... Yeah... Alright, I'm gonna quick draw my Lucerne Hammer plus one. And you then... drop the bow then? Drop the, uh... Should I just stay here, Hester? No, we need that, to go up Charlotte. I don't know what to do. This is like impossible, fine. man. Alright, I'm just gonna freaking... Can I shoot this we thing, actually? Put, I like, shoot a it. melee between this thing and the squishy Is your bow magic? Casters. No. Because you know it's incorporeal. Yeah, I know. I... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, yeah, I mean, like, that's not what you're supposed to do. Just do. 
instincts. I All right, I'm gonna quick draw the Lucerne Hammer and Acrobatics down this cliff. Okay. Drop the bow, I suppose. Uh, Acrobatics. Yeah. That's a 15 foot cliff. Um. So you're gonna take a little bit of non-lethal damage. Take four non-lethal. Okay. I don't know how to do that here. Found it. Um, okay, so that was... Was it a move action to go down the cliff? Or a standard action? The move action. It's part of a movement. Alright, uh, standard action, I'm gonna... make my better looser and hammer appear in my hands. With the thingy, Joan of Arc. Do you drop the other Lucerne Hammer? I think he's uh, just assigned you to drop it in that. the first place. I think he's just assigned you did that instead. Yeah. If that's okay. okay. He dropped his that's bow fine. up there and, and then did that. Yeah. I didn't think it through very well. Okay. I'm saying he's gonna full round Asaya again. I'll do my take my attack opportunity. Oh, one of those is a miss. That I misses. Missed. Yep. Uh, how many images do you have? Uh, three right now. Yeah. Takes out two more images. All right. Yes, I. Uh, yep, I'm just gonna... I gotta try to take this guy out. Uh, that probably misses. Oh, it hits. Okay, cool. Uh, so... <laughs> not very much damage. Uh, second attack. Misses. And... His AC is 23. Last attack is also a miss. So I hit with one attack and did like <sighs> minimal damage. Did you have to like roll concealment or not? Oh no, that's that guy. No. Sorry, sorry. I, Although yeah, I think I think even if I was attacking this guy, since I've seen visibility, I don't think I would have had to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we correct. had that discussion in another game. Like unless he has something else, giving right. him concealment on, on, in addition, but. I mean, he can always go back into the barrow haze. Go ahead and give me a climb check. You climb yeah, up. that would do it. Oops. Seeing visibly Sorry. does not help for sparrow haze. You're here. This guy. Gonna move over towards Charlotte and move right up to her. Double move over there. Does he need to be that close and personal? <laughs> he does. Okay. Yes. I'm going to pull out my gun and load it. And then okay. fly five feet closer, and that's my turn. Sure. Sure. Well... Um... Okay. Um... I'm going to cast a spell defensively. Sure. Uh, it's going to be a level 4 spell. So is that 23? Correct. Let's push this lovely button. Haha! -ha. You get it all. I dimension door nice. away to behind 
Hester, between Hester and the snake. Well, snakes don't get between Hester the snakes, and her spiky. The snake's in Hester's hand. Okay. Well, so, behind yeah, Hester just, and the rock. Moving yeah. the token around because... And, and you guys hear I her will... whisper... Oh, I'm not big anymore, by the way. Can I ready an action to full round attack, or can you only ready standard action? You're actions? not big, okay. You can, yeah, you can no, only ready standard the actions. Was five rounds. Unless you have the Overwatch style, then you can ready multiple attacks, but... Oh, that's kind of cool. Delay your turn. I'm actually, going like... to... Stand here, I'm going to delay my initiative to right after its turn. I'm pretty sure the Overwatch Ranger, or, uh, or like, whatever, Overwatch Crossbowman is, like, one of those things that sounds really cool until you really, like, think about how ready to actions work, though. Because I think even if you ready multiple attacks with it, like it keeps delaying your or like moving your initiative back every time you get another ready to mm. action going off. So you like take a turn off a lot. <laughs> because but just don't can I be American through. Sniper? Hmm. Mm. What's Maybe. this guy's intelligence? This guy's intelligence is an eleven. Let's make an int check. He's gonna keep shooting at Asaya. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna take attack of Richard. Alright. 22 does not hit. Um. And. How many images do you have? Just one, but... Is yeah, nine so within be... five? No. But he takes the other one first anyway, so... And takes out the image of that. So now I don't have any more images. I haven't got hit yet, though. He's he's only hit images. He just killed all the images. Uh... Is the... Let's see. I can step over here, right? Like, this is a this is a square that I could step into. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to just do a full round on him. Sure. Uh. Okay. I'm assuming that Hit. hits. So here's some damage. Uh, next attack. Chance for critical. Twenty-six confirm. Yep. Um. So this will be a lot of damage. And then, if he's still up, I get one more attack. Hit. He's still up! Rodney. Okay, so... I'm flanking right. with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you five it up. I'm looking for a... I did so much damage, I don't... Uh, where's my feet? Alright, whatever. Because most of I was like, oh, he's gonna need anyway. that sneak attack damage, but yeah, you actually do bludgeoning damage too, so I think you actually are gonna do full damage to him. Flanking. Yep. Um, whatever, I'll just do the first attack. Uh, you kill it. Minus one. And that's my turn, because I five foot stepped. Uh, this guy, he's going to go under the ground.
Zero. Well, it looks like you don't have to deal with them, or I don't know. Uh... What do I do? Just, like, go hang out with you guys and wait? I'll pick up my oh, bow. I'm not invisible anymore. Come around this way. Him so you can take that thing off. Yeah, so... Sure. I'll come around, I'll pick up my bow, and be like, where'd he go? Or is he coming back? I think I might uh, see him You go. still have silence on you, so... You try to say stuff, I don't actually and say it. comes out. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, put, Pluto, let's just put it out there that... You should have been using silence on me this whole time, so I couldn't play the game. Just be like, nope, Zoe, you don't get to give your opinion. You're, you're silent. Master. Um, I can dismiss I it as a standard action. I want to fly over to this thing and take I'd be like, when gun. we're making a decision, it'd be funny if you just like silence okay, me for no reason. Okay, you fly over to it, and as you take the gun out of its hands, it crumbles away into ash. Yep, knew it. It's a pale sniper. <laughs> Rip. Charlotte. Ah. Uh. The deadly pale snipers. So actually, Charlotte, you can't you can't even talk to these guys from this. From the this very spot. unfair yeah. pale snipe. Well, I think Zoe just got here. She wasn't standing right here when I moved here. No, she was down the cliff before, and she yeah. came back up. So now you can't <laughs> now you can't cast. Yeah. She doesn't know you're there though, so I mean it's not her fault. No, 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 she does. Oh, no, I'm you're not invisible now. anymore. Yeah. No, you're visible now. Yeah. You still have the icon on you, so... Nah. You can take that off, but I'll I'll do it, thanks. Um, let's see here. I will... start mumbling to myself and walk until I hear myself. And then I'm going to... Uh... Rodney's still hurt. Hester's a little hurt. Okay. I'm gonna send a spectral hand to cure Rodney. A level 2 spell. I am kinda hurt, and but it's mostly my con damage. See that? Look at that. A level 2 spell healed more <clears throat> more than the level 3 and 4 spell I casted earlier. Yeah, because you okay, rolled good. <laughs> um sorry, you can still hear the music. Yeah, I'll uh re cast my mirror image, I guess. Okay. I think Five Mitchell is images. trying to make this fight last the entire session. I, I don't think he anticipated and this session. I, I didn't say I was done. I, I was done. I can move too. Um. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yes, you so, can move. I'm gonna come over here and acrobatics down the ten feet or ten sure. meters or whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It should be easier because I'm not going down the full like thirty or whatever. So I'm just hopping down here. Okay, you're gonna take some damage from this. You take two d six non-lethal damage, so seven. Wait, I didn't make the save with a 30? Or the check with a 30? You made the check. It's just, it's, uh, 30 feet. Okay. I think you should That's why you're taking non lethal damage. Reflex, though, to, like, avoid taking damage when you intentionally fall. No, that's, that's fall. what the acrobatics is. No, I think it would have been lethal damage um, if I hadn't made it or something. Oh, okay. so, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. I, mean. right. I think you're right. I'm gonna double move down the ledges. Oh wait, snakes. Can I go down? No, the That's snake's not there. there. Snake's not there. Can you move that token? Okay. Like, uh, can we just like get rid of the snake? All right. Snake's going over here for now. The cliff. You're gonna go down the cliff? Yeah, I'm gonna go down the first ledge, and then the second. Ledge. Okay, make a climb check. Oh, oh, you're acrobatic thing? Sure. Yeah. Is that actually the gerund of acrobatic? Like, 
acrobatic you take thing. Eighteen like, that's not non lethal word. damage to get down. Okay. Acrobatting? Maybe it's acrobatting. Is the verb to acrobat? No, you would just change the words before it. Not the word itself, but the words you use before it. Is acrobat okay. a verb? That's the question. Do you want to do anything else? You still have move. Acrobatics. Acrobatics is a verb. Uh, that's a noun. How much move do I have? No, that's a noun. Um. You have another move action that took a move action to get down. Okay. <laughs> I googled acrobat and I just got a Adobe. <laughs> okay. Acrobat is a noun. Yes. And right after your turn... I give right up. next to Charlotte. Oh Kai my god. Up, and he's gonna start an attack on Charlotte. He really, really doesn't like you. Oh, hey. Is that him? Uh, yeah. Only a fortitude save. Um, if you, you want, you take seven normal damages. And two con damage. Damn. He's going to cleave through Ro to Rodney. Ha 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 ha! Rip. Does that hit your touch, Rodney? Yeah. Roll me a fort save. Take four con damage. Look at my life. Zoe. Uh, I will move on over here. Uh, I like move here. Or something, and then can I hit it without like weird cover things happening? Not from that square. Okay, instead of going, there, I'll go like up this way. This one work? Yes, that one work. Okay, and I just get one attack. No. But I have my good hammer now. Uh, I take the first one. I don't like checking and unchecking things. You miss. This game sucks. Uh, let's see. I think I can move a little bit. Get within 40 feet and shoot it. Sure. With my gun. Actually, I can get a clear shot if I just move all the way over here. Which I will, I fly over. Sure. And this is mad, this is a magic uh, rifle, so it's magic damage. Yes, I know. Uh, you hit? So I never did really uh, a knowledge on this thing. Which which would it be? It was religion. 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 Did did anybody say whether or not this was actually classified as undead? Yes, it is undead. Yes, it's classified as undead. Keep in mind you're in a silent sphere right now. I know, but I also have a spectral hand. Um, so. It's true. Yeah, but he might have reach. I don't know. You know, he, he does. Definitely, he yeah. definitely has reach. Yeah. Oh. Damn it, Zoe. Wait, what's my fault now? You came near It's more me. my fault, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she wasn't. I mean, I can dismiss it. 
I can dismiss it next round. It's also going to wear off in two rounds, too, so... Yeah. There's that. Uh... I'm going to... Move... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm going to move... And provoke. And so I can hear myself again. Uh, yeah, that hits. Do you have mage armor? Yeah, I put it on every day, so... Mage armor will defend against its incorporeal attacks, because mage armor is made of force. Yeah, but it still hits. Like, my AC is only 17. Okay. Give me a fortitude save. Okay. Not quite enough. You barely miss. Okay. Take two more con damage. Damn. Isaiah. Well, I'm not oh, done. sorry, Charlotte. You still have a movement. Uh, or a standard. Uh, my bad. Yeah. Um, I will cast a spell. And. Uh. Uh, okay, let me let me see how many how many reservoir points I have here. I will cast a cure to harm and de deliver. Touch spell, which I think the spectral hand gets me a bonus. No, that's melee. It's ghost touches ghost. Ghost touching. Go ahead and make me a caster level check. Okay, so I'm gonna get a plus two uh, to that. <clears throat> um, not the caster level part, but um, okay. So I'm going to cast the cure, and then I'll cast the touch. Well, whatever. Yeah. So let me just push this button. Where is it? I'm doing the third level. So we do that, and then I'm gonna manually roll this melee attack. Is going to be five plus two, so seven. Yuck. Okay, uh, you succeed the caster level check, uh, but you miss. Yeah, a more, a more. <laughs> well, the hand still uh. has it. Oh, yeah, you still have the charge. Nice, Isaiah. that's true, I do. So you could just cast it. We can just try to apply it at the standard action without having to cast next time. Yeah. Um, although you'll probably still have to roll the, the caster level check again, unless he lets you use that check again. Because <laughs> uh, technically the check wouldn't happen until you actually hit. Anyway, um, do, do I want to take a standard action to remove the silence? Probably not. There's probably not really any reason to. Mm -mm. Um, I can tell when I can't hear myself. So, yeah. So, let's see. I guess I could just climb down the rest of the way here. Uh, do I know how to climb? <laughs> That's a good question. It probably doesn't matter because I have a lot of bonuses. So, I think I'm gonna do... I could also just jump down and try to move in, and I could maybe even attack this turn if I do that. Why is my character sheet so fucking slow in roll 20? Because, <laughs> you know... There it goes. 
Okay. So I think I am gonna climb down though because I don't think there is any sense of me trying to like rush this shit. I do have a rank in it. Cool. Okay. So I'm attempting to climb down and it should just take like a round to do that. Right, you get cool. down. You get down. Rodney. And that's my turn. Alright, um, so Rodney's a little pissed off from getting hit. I'm gonna five foot step, drop my shield, and um, two hand of vicious. Go for it. Uh, so the first attack misses, uh, and the second and third attack hits. Go, go ahead and roll me concealment, though. The, they miss. Rodney doesn't seem to be an issue. This guy five foot steps through Rodney and is going after Zoe. Woo. That is a chance for crit. That is a confirmation. Go ahead and roll me two fortitude saves. I hate this the game. Second one, I just the second one's pretty there. important. <laughs> uh, fort? Yep. If you have any bonuses, you, well, I guess there it is. Yeah, you made the second you, one, that's the important, the most important one. You make the second fortitude save. Because the uh, crit would have doubled the, the dex or the you take con two damage. con damage on top of nineteen normal damages. Zoe, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, and I'm doing things. I I hate this game. Uh, well, I have thirty health. Um. I'm going to five foot step back and full round it. That's more than me and Charlotte. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm still hitting it. It's like... Ugh. I have haste, though. Finally, I get to use a haste attack. Concealment misses. I probably would have five foot attack. stepped over first to get... Misses. Diary five foot step? I probably would five foot step you to get the did. flank bonus okay. if I didn't. So plus two to everything. Attack wise. Probably didn't matter in this case anyway. Yeah, concealment rolls were pretty garbage. Oh, the third attack. Did it yeah, hit? yeah, with one I think. And I get the sneak attack damage if I'm flanking, is the main reason. Well, no, you don't get the sneak no. attack damage because it has concealment. Oh, because it's stupid. Damage. What about the haste uh, the attack? Third that and third hit? haste attack hits. Okay. Uh, so you do 10 and 15. Gonna reload my gun, uh, and then shoot. Go ahead. Is it closer to me? Yeah, it's within point blank. Oh, I'm sorry, the haste attack does not hit. Even with the plus two flank bonus? It's the concealment. Concealment. Oh, this game's... Go! Need blind fight. Uh, go ahead and roll me concealment. You hit. Try. You're back and you're you're silent again. I'm babbling to myself as I back up and 
Uh, well, I don't even need to cast the spell, honestly. I can just correct. Touch you could just stay in the silence and just do deliver the touch attack. Yeah, I'm just gonna deliver the touch attack, and I guess I might have mischance too. Mm, maybe, but go the ahead other and roll thing... me. The... Okay. Uh... Let let me look at spectral the spectral hand, hand is itself incorporeal. I don't know if that matters in this case, but. Uh, I think... you you touch it, uh, and it. What is the save for this? Oh, DC twenty one. Oh shit! How far ago was that? It has some channel resistance, I believe. It looks like it saves, so it takes half damage. So it takes 10 damage. It's looking fairly weak. Some of the ghosties in its brigade have started to disappear. Isaiah. Um, so I can either charge it, or I could just acrobatics in to try to avoid an attack opportunity. I have mirror images, so I think it makes sense to just charge. So I'll, I'll charge. Okay. Charge! Uh, that will give me a flank as well. So anyway, he gets attack opportunity against me. Yep, but I do have images. D6. He hits you. Uh... See, so he does he not... He hits you. He is not affected by any your images? That is correct. Okay. Um, and then I'll roll my fort save. I'm gonna throw a plus eight on this roll. Okay. So that's a... Uh, that's a plus... Overall it's gonna be a... You save. Seven, 20, yeah, I'm pretty sure I save. <laughs> Rod. It's a 32. That's a 32 is what my fort save was. Uh, okay. So we try again. Sure. Oh, sorry, Isaiah, you had a charge attack. Go ahead and make that. <laughs> yeah, I was like trying to find the thing on my. So I got distracted from myself as well because I was trying to find where they where they track that on Hero Lab for the luck thing. I'll find it later. Um, I edited it earlier yeah, when I used feature? it last time. Yeah, I'm, I'll find it later. I, I edited it earlier, so I know it's. Or adjust. I thought it was in the end play, but I couldn't I couldn't find it in there. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna. Uh, it's probably there, but I have to scroll through a bunch of shit. So anyway, here's the attack. Uh, oh, I have a flank as well, so actually. Uh, this is going to be plus 18. Okay. Hit. And I have C invisibility, so... I believe that reduces it to a 25%. Uh, I think it actually gets rid of it from the text on it, but... Uh, okay, you, you hit, you hit. I'm going to look that up later. Go ahead and roll your damages. Okay. Deal 10 damages to It's looking very weak. Rodney, now it's your turn. Alright. So... If it hits, I'll have to tell you what damage to take out. There it is. So... Uh, all of those have a chance to hit. Go ahead and roll me three uh, concealment check. One, two, three. Alright, so... You hit. Uh, you bring this seven. thing down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter then. And the normal sound of... The waves and the ocean and the uh, birds comes back. 
Hooray! Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. Well, perhaps this is why people are disappearing. <laughs> but where are uh, the bodies? Think... Uh, well, some of them are down there. <laughs> So, after, like, you know, catching my breath, I'm going to go try to f see if I can figure out if those are our people or, like, diff like different people. Like, are those our, our own scouts? Those look to be your like... own scout. Okay, they're not Chinese. They're not the Chinese soldiers. That's correct. Uh... It was a difficult encounter. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a long encounter. I forgot to use my improved iron wheel. Oh, to let you re-roll. I forgot save. to use yeah. my the easy first button. first time around, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was as bad. I think what hurt us the most was Zoe getting, like, zapped so bad at the beginning. I think yeah, what hurt us so much was that it freaking ran away from me nonstop. Because it, it seemed more interested in either the oh yeah, I would have bothering it. It would have still probably it, it still probably would have abused the terrain and it would have been difficult no matter what. But that definitely it definitely made that's what made it so in the end we actually have like fucking destroyed our resources like we're well, not able to Well my initial plan another... was invisibility spectral hand dimension door Zoe out but I ended up getting stuck in the thing so that didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping this silence would just like shut the ability down altogether but nope. I said I think Mantis with the thing you were thinking of there was because last time we had fought something that was incorporeal, it actually wasn't, it was phasing between incorporeal and not, it had blink. Yeah, it had blink. Or like a blink ability. So that was, and that was basically like, I had a chance of hitting it while I was incorporeal and doing half damage and had a chance of hitting it when it wasn't or something like that, but. I don't no, know, this fight could have gone a lot worse if me and uh, Rodney were dancing a lot more. In this case, it was always ethereal, so it's, I'm always just doing half damage to it, but I can Like, we got see it lucky. Fine. I mean, that's My not true. Ability. I mean, I had to spend a lot of time healing you guys in no, which we could did have not been get damaging lucky. it. No, we got we lucky actually... because the frickin' will- we got lucky on the will saves at the beginning. Well, sure, uh... but even if you guys were incapacitated for most of the rounds, I still think we still could have done it, because I wouldn't have had to have focus healed, I could have focus damaged. Maybe. I'm not a Debbie Jammer. I never, yeah. I never think we're being defeated. Like that's never in my mind. It's so funny <laughs> how you guys are always like, ah, it's, well, it's the best end. Not to. Yeah, it's like I'm not gonna die. My character's not gonna die, and if I can avoid it, obviously. Um, but I will flee if you all are dead. <laughs> I really like that's the good to know. behind the stat block. <laughs> But when I saw, like, the con drain, I'm like, nah, this guy's not an end boss. He's <laughs> a big problem. He's a guardian. But let's not do the con drain. Yeah. And, uh, the actual original stat block, his scythe does 1d8 con drain. Yo, Jesus. That's a yeah, three be... five stat block. Hmm. Yeah, there would be there would be a lot of salt if if you'd used that instead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is why I didn't. Uh, I think there's still a lot of salt, anyways. But you know, not from this player. We we just got told, hey, heal all your stat damage, 
and then I go and take 11 con damage in one fight. Well, you know. I think uh, Hester has lesser restoration. Nope. No, I don't think witches. Really? Get I thought I thought witches could. Witches don't get it. Witches don't get it. Either. We have nobody in our party. I think that's cast why it. like it's rough. Even though druids get the lesser, I think that's like I think restoration's like truly a divine spell, like truly, truly. Where some of the other ones are like meh, borderline. Oh yeah, you can. The only non uh, divine class that can cast like regular restoration is the alchemist, <laughs> which isn't he actually casting it. Right, yeah, which is kind of strange, but then again, it is alchemy, so maybe it's not that strange. Yeah. Alchemy like is a bridge between, like, it. science, the divine, and magic. It breaks everything into its fundamental parts and replicates it. I'm surprised Rodney's still alive after... That's why alchemy is the most blasphemous. I thought Rodney profession. I thought crap. If, if I thought Rodney was gonna actually had a good chance of actually dying. That yeah. <laughs> Once I saw yeah, the damage rolls were pretty low, though, I got a little bit less scared. Mantis, is you're supposed to wait until we're all flying to a destination and then sniper us when we can't see them and put a couple of them there. That's what you're supposed to do if you want to get back at me. <laughs> oh no, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dick you. I'm just going to have you at least fight one. Like, can you imagine how how awful it would have been if that guy had crit? Oh man, Pluto, my pale snipers have automatic guns. So they don't have that reload bullshit. Well neither do No, does this his guy had an automatic gun too. Oh did they? Oh okay. So you're using the same. The the, the pale sniper is a really annoying, unfair monster because it circumvents all of the weaknesses of a of a gunslinger. Yeah, I noticed he would roll one and then it wouldn't it didn't misfire on him. He's just like I don't mm -hmm. care, I just miss. Don't care. Yep. <laughs> like okay. And you can't take their gun because it fades away. Yeah, yep. I mean, it's it's a monster with a kind of a cool concept, but I think it's not per the way I I would never just throw a pale sniper into something because it there's it it throws players through such a loop. It it doesn't make <laughs> sense because you don't if you don't know what it is. Right. It needs meaning. <laughs> I I I like murdered people with those things. Both both Rain of Winter parties. Had a very, very rough time. <laughs> Rain of Winter introduces you to the concept that there's going to be a lot of undead in that AP. So, like, that part, you're kind of expecting, okay, like, we're going to fight a lot of undead. But, yeah, it's still really annoying that they can fire as many times as they want, and they never misfire, and you can't take their guns. Because um, so another way to beat guns well, is to disarm them. Are we, are we done? Wait, if you... Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so like that's can't you disarm him here? Like, wouldn't that just make the gun disarm? You cannot disarm him. No, you can't at all. It just they're immune. Well, to like it. it would get rid of their no, guns not, and no. it appears again. Oh, we're not. Oh, okay. oh, why are we not playing? We are. We're talking. They can never talk happen. Like we done. just fought. I, yeah. Fine. Well, I mean, that's I, 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 I just ba based on the banter. I thought that we were done. That's all. No, we just get off on the tangent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Probably, I, I, I know. Well, I don't know. You guys, I actually probably I do need to go uh, about now, but you guys can continue on without me. Oh, what do you want to do, Mantis? Have us just pick up here on the beach. Uh. Uh. So what? What are you guys gonna gonna do? I don't know. Uh, we were. Uh, sleep for it a month. Like you you secured the well, this cover. was our task, right? Is yeah, I, yeah, I think we'll probably like go Aaron's. back to the guy and say we secured the beach, right? Uh, you check on them, and yes, they look like they're your dudes, okay. and they look like they're dead. They look like they've had the life sucked out of them. Uh-huh, okay. So, wait, Mantis, was this thing really hard because we rolled poorly, or is that some future thing that's going to be hard because we rolled poorly? Huh? Or is that not? Cause the, the He's talking about the skill challenge. Was this the I thing that it was affecting? Yes. 
Okay. You got no yeah, information I, I... about it ahead of time, which was part of the skill challenge, and you you got a pale sniper. It'll probably affect other things too. I'm okay. Sure. I, I was just trying to, because I, I think you said something about it's going to affect like the end of the campaign, and I was like, well, that we're landing on the beach. Is that the end of the campaign? I don't know. No, it's well, it's not, it's not the very end, but we're in we're in the end of it. We're in the end. Yeah, yeah you're in the so, end. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, so our, our to do... plans are go back to the guy and tell him we secured the beach, right? That's that's yeah, what I want to do. Probably, yeah. yeah. And we're going to have another one of those skill challenges. Uh, to secure this area. Okay. More more rolling, Mantis. More rolling. Yeah, more rolling and more role okay. playing. I'll, I'll stick around for a little bit longer, but I do gotta go real soon, so... Uh, so, let's just have everybody go ahead and roll initiatives. Uh, to see what?! The, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. To see the... <laughs> Who is going to go first in the skill yeah. challenge? Yeah, I, I thought you were going to put us back into another combat. And I'm like, wait, Mantis, no. we just did like a two and a half hour combat. I, I walk around when we play Pathfinder, so I'm not at my desk all the time. Wireless headset, fun. Another reason why camera would be a bad See, idea, because um, I'm not so at we, my computer not, like half the game. We don't know if we're gonna rest before this combat, do we? It's not You're, it's Time's not happening, combat. right? Okay. Time we're prepping happening. for something. So we're we're, we're yeah, doing another skill, skill rolls again. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. So hopefully we well, don't roll a one, weeks, two, and three. Or like it's days between those things, right? So we I'll tell you how much rest, time passes things. after the skill challenge, yes. Okay. Just do really badly on the skill challenge, it'll take us longer. Well, we'll likely heal up our damage, ability damage by the end of this. I wish warrior classes had a way to heal ability damage. Yeah. Some of them do. Charlotte, can you roll initiative, please? I'll rephrase that. I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> paladins get it. Uh, I think war. Yeah, because they my paladin. Use, they use the. Uh, the they use the cleric spell list, right? Do you remember my first paladin, Pluto? Okay, Rodney. Yep, I do. I gave him fuck ass. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, are we at the beach? You, he congratulates you for uh, securing the beach, and he begins moving troops over to the west, south, southwesternmost main island of Japan. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. This same. is to. Okay. Same thing as I did last time, and try and show people how to maneuver in combat. Okay. Uh, so you're trying to train people to, like, uh, duck and cover from bullets, and you get a success here. Charlotte. And people are like, hey, you already showed us this. Show us something new. Charlotte's inspired. Um... I forgot how this feature works. Uh, because... Right, um, hold on, let me... Will you allow me to use my class ability... Well, not class ability, uh, trait that I always forget to use. Um, hold on one second. Uh, this thing, what does it say? Roll twice. Will you let me to roll twice on this? Mm. I'm in 
inspired. It's a skill check. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, what, what do I want to do? I want to... Um. Wow, I'm not like super, super good at things. I. Is this like including like teaching the men things or? Sure. Or just pointing things That's out? What, or the... That's what Rodney did. Teaching them things is uh, less, is not going to have bonuses like you would if you were uh, using uh, things that are a little bit more relevant. But yes, it can potentially work. You're not going to get a circumstance bonus on it, though. Okay. Uh, I want to roll... A perception then in which I want to teach them how to use all of their senses when trying to sense their surroundings to prevent any kind of like guerrilla type tactics or prevent them from getting snipered or attacked by a strange creature that is a failure Oh, 22. Hmm. Zoe. Hmm. I shouldn't use any con based skills. I know that much. There aren't any. Well, I'm in luck then, aren't I? Um. So now that we're over on the beach, I should have been thinking about this sooner. Are there any, like, horsies? Or any riding mounts thingies in the army? Uh, sure. Okay, I'm going to gather up some of the riders, or all of them, depending on how many there are. And I'm going to teach them how to ride in combat in different ways of attacking enemies while mounted. Okay. And how to, you know, use that to your advantage. That is a failure. You're a failure. Hester. Hester. I can mean just do snow or the profession soldier again. Because I wanted to try something different and I didn't want to oh, teach okay. them the same thing. I'm I actually have a better check better on ride than on soldier the, uh, rank environment but... with the knowledge oh, okay. geography. Uh, sure. I have a fifteen in ride, fourteen in soldier. That is uh, why do I failure? Eleven skill ranks in ride. Yeah. I literally don't ride. Uh, I'll use knowledge history to um, relay information about other uh, in island invasions. Perhaps uh, like ones that happened in the Mediterranean or something like that. I don't know. Sure. Or like some of their own, maybe even some of their own history of like battles that have happened around here. Um, it's a pretty low roll, but I do have a good bonus. Uh, that's a success. All right. Okay. Uh, so we had three failures and two successes. Yep. Um, and then I so, do gotta go, so... Uh, it's gonna be, like, real I, soon. Really quick. It's gonna be real soon. Uh, okay. So, uh, Lord Mori uh, gathers you all up, and he's... You've been at this offensive for three weeks. You can cure all of your con damage, but you haven't really made much of a dent uh, inland. The forces are more fortified here, and their supply lines are better. And... He says that the morale of the men is getting low and that he thinks a uh, sort of Hail Mary 
uh, cutting off the head of the snake is going to be required. And he thinks that you guys are the best, uh, the best people to do this. Wait, does he actually know what Hail Mary means? He's Japanese. It's translated He's, into that. Yeah, it's translated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's sorry. That's what I got out of that. Like, wait a minute. That's a <laughs> that's a Catholic term. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, um, okay. I mean, I I'm all for aggressive and risky strategies. Because I myself am aggressive and risky. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, I guess we'll agree to do that, and that's probably going to be next session, right? So That's going to be next yeah. session. And he, uh, he points out on the map uh, where he expects the... Uh, where he expects their leader to be. Is the leader the red hat dude? I I literally can never remember. I don't know. We don't. We'll know. find out. But does he point out the location where I think I last heard or scried about uh, Rupert? Oh, I could ask uh, my yeah, it's person thing. It's a similar thing. Oh my! I could have been like, place. hey, hey, okay. uh. Lady person, how should I help train this army, Joan of Arc? And then she would have given me divine wisdom on how to what to teach them. Okay, so uh, since Put is going to be gone, and I don't According want to play to his Bill character, and, and it's going to be a chapter-ending combat that is coming up, uh, we are going to end session here. Go ahead and heal all, right. all of your damage, and heal all of your ability damage. Oh, all right. Yay! And I'm putting 10 HP in the thing. So it has been six weeks, so it is now the beginning of September. All right. I literally have no idea what time is. I have. I had fun. Uh, I'll How many see... years have we played this game? Uh, oh and one. um secret I will I got I also I'm not going to be here on Saturday probably maybe maybe I will be there like a few hours late Pluto but I won't be there at 10 <laughs> I know Don't worry, but I, I won't be there easy. I'm planning I won't be there at the I'm start plotting. of the session at least so um I might show up around noon or so Okay by then slavery I can't guarantee full it full effect in your kingdom hopefully are you working, Pluto, or just other know. stuff? <laughs> uh, I got some other stuff going on that I gotta I gotta do around the house. Okay. That uh, that's just the only time that really works with my brother. So I kind of have I'm like, well, I, I gotta it needs to get done though. So. Yep. You you do you. When you come back, there will be armies of slaves at your service. All right then. <laughs> so, and then yeah, like I said I'll see most of you guys tomorrow. So, yep. um, for the uh, um, Strange Aeons game. So, All right. So you'll you'll be here for tomorrow, right? I will be here tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. So. Okay. All right. Bye, Pluto. So, good night, everybody. Peace.